Hold on, bro. Spot inspection. Go ahead. The rest pass for now. Remember I told you I had a surprise? Yeah. Voila. Oh, dude, you shouldn't have. They're not for you, man. They're for the customers. Yeah, but this is meat. You really think I can sell it as a Valentine's Day present? Are you kidding? This is a very stress-inducing holiday. Trust me, people will buy anything in a heart-shaped box. I don't know, dude. Well, I'll take one of those, partner. Excellent choice, sir. That'll be $25. <gasps> well, giddy up. Ah? That guy just gave you 25 bucks. Nope. He gave you 25 bucks. Minus five bucks for the idea. Told you, dude. It's Valentine's Day. So, you gonna ask anyone out tonight? Yep. Nikki. All right, carpe diem, dude. What? Carpe diem. It's Latin for seize the fish. Right. Well, you know, underneath all those biting insults and scathing put-downs lies a pretty hot chick. <laughs> Just promise you won't all follow us around on our date like you did last time. Yeah, okay. Easy, bro. I need those to fill up the rest of the hearts. Now you're getting it? Uh-oh. Angry cowboy, 10 o'clock. This ain't chocolate, son. No, it's the other chocolate. Pork. It's a new trend in candy. Oh, sure. Uh, I, I heard about that. You don't sell flowers, do you? Sure. $30, bro. Dude, nicely done. <laughs> Life begins after school That's when we bend all the rules Time to hang with all my friends We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing so fast, you gotta make the good times last. I'm 16, 16. Gotta make the good times last. I'm not done. Yes, you are. Shh. Hi, I'm confirming a table for tonight. The name is Wyatt. Hi, Bobby Marshall. Yes, I know I confirmed yesterday. Uh, so. Now that's your most romantic booth, right? Like no teenager. Hello? Hello? Sounds serious, lover boy. Check it out. I've got dinner reservations, a nice card, and 12 long stem roses lined up for Serena. Ah, that's the sweetest. Dude, you're so in. Oh, please. Should I get chocolates, too? Or is that overkill? Why don't you hire a plane to write her a message in the sky? Yeah. How about I'm a total wuss? <laughs> Sorry. Come on, guys. It's sweet. He's just showing her that she's special. Yeah, with every cliche in the book. Seriously, dude. You don't pull out the entire arsenal in one date. Save something for when you screw up. Well, I think he should do what's in his heart. <clears throat> mm. uh, I'm down with V-Day, too, you know. Oh, really? Who's the lucky lady? Couldn't find one, so I'm asking you. So, want to chill and catch a flick? Gee, I'm flattered, but no thanks. <sighs> no to me or, or no to the movie? No to tonight. I don't go out on Valentine's dates. Oh, Never? Too many bad experiences. Oh, are you talking about the time that guy scanned your face onto the naked Cupid and put it up all over the school? Or the time you got food poisoning at the Valentine's dance and had to be rushed to emergency? Right, because Richard Guberman gave you chocolate creams that were a year old. He could have warned me. Little science creep. 
You really do have bad luck on Valentine's. Not anymore. This year, I'm having an anti-Valentine's Day non-celebration. A heart-shaped anything embargo, if you will. Right. Well, this has been helpful. Where are you going? To buy Serena some heart-shaped chocolates before my shift. Sucker. So, seriously, Freaky Casual Friday is playing tonight. I'm not going out with you on Valentine's Day, so forget it. How can you be alone on the scoringest night of the year when you could be with the scoringest guy? Oh, it's a sacrifice, all right. I don't know how I'll live with myself. I'm just saying... Despite popular belief, you don't have to be scoring on February 14th to have fun. Besides, I'm not going to be alone. You're not? No. I'm going to kick it with the girls. Right, girls? Huh? Oh, you play rugby. Cool. So, do you play it on, like, a big rug? <laughs> She's joking. We love rugby. Jen, what are you doing? Shh. We might have some dates for tomorrow night. Oh, great. Whatever you have is catching. Valentine's fever. Hmm. I think I just got me an idea. Dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Huh? <laughs> so then the guy asks me, which CD is more romantic, the classical guitar or the pan flute? Ew, exactly. He's probably a normal guy, but on Valentine's Day, they turn into these mushy, gushy freaks. Mm-hmm, it's all, hey, baby, here's your requisite flowers and chocolates. Again, <laughs> nice effort. <laughs> yeah, real original. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? She's going to hate everything I got her. Dude, slow down. I think you're overthinking this. I think I'm not. I don't want to blow this date. I still can't believe she said yes. Just looking at that hair, that smile, it just does something to me, you know? Weird kids. Okay, so we struck out. No biggie. We are not going to be dateless losers for Valentine's Day. Totally not. Ooh, hello. You're going to try to get a greeter god to go out with us? Hey, welcome, welcome to, to Albatross, Albatross and Finch. Finch. My friend and I have a question. <laughs> Do you and your friend have plans for tomorrow night? Mm, not, not for, for you. you. It's an image thing, you understand. Oh, jerk! What are you up to now? Bid here to win a dream date with Jonesy. I don't think anyone would pay to go out with me. There are tons of lonely chicks without dates on Valentine's Day. With my qualifications, I could make a fortune. I'm taking one lucky lady out on a romantic night at the mall. Dinner, dessert, a movie of her choice, and if she's real hot, maybe a kiss. I'm sure it'll be a night to remember. Okay, let's say you got dinner reservations, flowers, and chocolates for someone, and you found out they thought all that stuff was stupid. I'd save yourself the cash and cancel it all, bro. Me too. It's like, why buy a bone for a dog who has no teeth? Uh, yeah. I've got to run. I've got some damage control to do. Oh, I have a table for two reserved for... Yes, it's Wyatt Williams. No, actually... <laughs> Funny story. Hi. I'd like to cancel. You are most dishonorable. I make a shrimp roll out of you. Huh? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> About those flowers. I said I'm sorry. Jeez, it's just 12 roses. This is not going well at all. I can't believe we even struck out at the arcade. And most of those guys were 12. Hello, ladies. Can I interest you in some half price stereo wires? Don't I saw him first. It He's was my mine. idea to get us dates. Oh, easy, ladies. There's plenty of Darth to go around. <laughs> what are we doing? We've got to get a grip. We're not that desperate. You're right. Nikki is so better than Darth. <sighs> they have a point. Win a dream date with Jonesy. Sure, he's got his faults. He's kind of selfish and he's cheap. Jude! What? Keep it positive. Oh, sorry, dude. 
We're the Dream Date with Jonesy. It's better than being alone. Hey, Wyatt, were you able to bail on your plans for us here? Yeah, thanks. So how many bids you got so far? None. Can you believe it? How much is the starting bid? $200. You may want to consider lowering your price a bit. What do you think? 20 bucks. Yeah, 20. 20 bucks? This is me you're talking about. Oh, I get it. Start the bidding low, build up a bit of Jonesy mania, right? Something like that. So, ready to spring all your Valentine's Day plans on Serena? Oh, I'm not doing those things anymore. Even return the mushy card. You canceled the reservations too? Yeah, and to think I came this close to blowing it. Are you sure that's a good idea? Completely. I heard her tell Charmaine she thinks Valentine's Day gives her lame. Hold on. You didn't believe that, did you? You can't just believe everything you hear girls say. You can't? No. It's like when a girl says nothing's wrong. Something is definitely wrong. So what you're saying is girls don't always say what they mean. Oh, no. no. Do you guys? Yes! Okay. Are you two not saying what you really mean now? No. no! Oh, man. Time to damage control the damage control. I have to rebook that dinner reservation. You have reached super terrific sushi. If this is a Mr. Wyatt, <sighs> leave us alone. Yo, Jonesy, check it out. Two hotties, 11 o'clock. Would either of you ladies like to place a bid? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that's more like it. Sushi! All your intestines! Oh! Okay, okay! <laughs> Sorry, we're fully booked. Are you serious? Valentine's Day is tomorrow, you know. <sighs> Slow day at the mall. I'm sure things will pick up after four. Yeah. Look alive. Cougar on approach. <laughs> Uh... Can I place a bid, boys? Of course you can! <clears throat> See you tonight. <laughs> oh, I'm a genius! So I guess it's just gonna be you, me, and Nikki tonight. Caitlin, I've got an idea. <laughs> Faint. What? Fall on the floor. Now. Faint. Oh. Help! Someone just fainted! <laughs> Are you all right? Don't move. <laughs> Woo! I feel much better now. Thanks, guys! It's not too late to place a bid for a dream date, Jen. Already got one, thanks. I meant the live one. Dude, 12 o'clock. <gasps> hey, boy. I've never been on a Valentine's Day before. <gasps> Are you sure you want to bid this much? I mean, I'm actually pretty boring and a jerk. 55 bucks puts you at the top of the bidding. <laughs> See you tonight. We have to find someone to outbid her fast. Nikki, did we score the best date for Valentine's or what? Uh, you do realize he's cardboard, right? So? He's cute, available, and he won't say anything stupid. Point taken. Buy the man a soda. I'm toast. No reservations left? Not even wonder, Taco. Yep, you're toast. Valentine's is the only legitimate excuse to come right out and show your affection. Any other date would just be humiliating. So true. I gave flowers to this girl once on Bastille Day, and she laughed at me. Nice effort, though, dude. Thanks, man. What am I going to do for Serena? You'll think of something. Well, uh, what you doing there, Mac? Placing the bid. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! That doesn't count! Sure it does. There's no sign anywhere that says girls only. You can be shut down by the government if you discriminate against dudes, dude. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh. You know what? This isn't so bad. Mm. I told you. Mm. Mm. Oh, 
<laughs> I love chicken wings, but I would so never eat them in front of a date. Shh, you're gonna hurt his feelings. Hey, I think Jason wants more ice cream. <laughs> Think, Wyatt, think. Cool Valentine's gift. Hey, Wyatt, what was the name of that reggae group I like again? Toots and the Maytals. Right, thanks. <sighs> That's it. Okay, being single on Valentine's Day kind of rocks. <sighs> and you can pig out. And you don't have to blow money on stupid presents. You know the one thing that would make this perfect? New outfits? No. <gasps> if we could get Jason here to fetch us more food. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I'd better go. I want all the details in the morning. <laughs> so, ready for our date? Okay, I have something for you. It's not fancy reservations or anything, but here. It's a CD? Not just any CD. You know how you love all those songs I spin but never know who sings them? I burned them all onto one disc for you. No way. That's the coolest Valentine's gift I ever got. Really? Definitely. Were you planning this all along? Oh, not too long. Okay, so I know it's cheesy and totally unoriginal, but I couldn't resist. It's so cute! I know, kind of dorky, huh? No, I love him! Want to get out of here? I know a great hot dog stand where you don't need reservations. Sounds good. Okay, there's still time for a girl to outbid this dude, right? Yeah, ten minutes. <whistles> Hey, boy. Oh. I need some bids over here. <sighs> Caitlin, Jen, Nikki, Jonesy's running out of time over here. Actually, this might be the best entertainment of the whole evening. Come on! I thought we were friends. Pass me the chips. Seven minutes left and the taco chicks got the lead. you possibly want with me? I'm into chicks. I'm a chick. Aren't there any hot chicks in need of a date tonight? <gasps> Hi there, gorgeous. Hi. You're in luck. Lots of time to win a date with the Jonesmeister. You don't remember my name, do you? Sure I do. Hot dog vendor girl. <clears throat> 75 bucks! Looks like Jonesy's all yours! So what would you like to do tonight? Sky's the limit. Let's see. In honor of you never calling me back after we dated, I was thinking we could start with a chick flick uh -huh. marathon. Then you'll put on my prom dress and tell the world what a jerk you are on the jumbo screen. And after that, my dog, Princess Fluffy, needs a pedicure. <laughs> All that because I forgot your name? I never knew your name. One minute left. This bed should last sue me the grand prize. Back off, cowboy. He's mine. I was bidding on him before you. Would you all excuse me for a minute? <laughs> Quite the predicament you've gotten yourself into. You've got to help me. I do? 50 seconds. You are so not helping, dude. Yes, you do. Ah, gee, I wish I could help, but I already have my dates for the evening. I know you hate Valentine's Day, but this is an emergency. I might have to go on a date with a dude on a horse. 30, 29, 28. Dude! All right, but on two conditions. Anything you want. That the bid I make doesn't actually have to be paid. But that means I will have done all this work for nothing. You didn't actually think I'd pay to hang out with you, did you? Fine. What else? You have to do anything I tell you for the whole evening. You are a cold, cold chick. Do I hear a yes, Nikki? 18, 17, 16. Yes. Pardon? Yes. Be right back, girls. Twenty thousand dollars! Whoa, that's a little rich for my blood. Well, go big or stay home, girlfriend. You do know he's a jerk, don't you? Yeah, but I love that about him. Auction closed, and the winner is Nikki. Huh? Yes! Woohoo! Nicely done. Thanks, Nick. I owe you big time. You can start paying me back right now. 
Let's locomote. Enough. Time for our back massages. It'll look like we're with Jason instead of just Jonesy. Hey, I had a bit of seventy-eight dollars, you know. To shut up and look cute. <gasps> What's going on here? Nothing. Nothing. This individual has a mask on without carrying a costume permit. We're just humiliating Jonesy. See? Please, please help me. Carry on. <laughs> Gangway, my back teeth are floating. <laughs> Not letting him go to the bathroom during the movie was kind of mean. What if we needed licorice and he wasn't there? Good point. Ew, they both have mustard on their noses. What are you looking at? Get us some napkins and make it snappy. Uh, yep, ladies. Ah, a good man is hard to find. But if you can buy one for free, I highly recommend it. Oh yeah, got that right, sister. <sighs> What's with him? Dude thinks she's in love. Guys, you do not know happiness until you've had a date like I had last night. It was heaven. You know who I really feel sorry for? The girls who placed a bid and didn't get to go out with me. Oh, gentlemen, don't throw that booth out too quickly. I'm starting to like Valentine's Day. Yeah, last night was fun, Jonesy. Does this mean I'm finally gonna score a kiss? Don't hold your breath. These lips won't wait forever, baby. <laughs> <laughs>